So basically, you don't want to talk about Lewis Richardson, so I can't give him any PR for my mate Phil Jeffries. Yeah, stop being a company man. Being a company man. No, I'm just going to... Uh, have you lowered my chair? You have, haven't you? <laughs> no, I'm just that heavy. Jesus. How much do you weigh? Uh, 17, 7. So you're bigger than me, no, I'm just swimming away. Yeah, but listen, I'm more of an athlete though. I know, yeah. <laughs> so, Lewis Richardson, you don't think he's relevant outside Newcastle? I agree on that, but he's spent a lot of money and he's, he's doing really good for his son. I, that's, that's, listen, I can't reward that. I'm, like I said, I don't feed his kids. Yeah. So, my only relationship to Lewis Richardson is give me fights that I'm going to enjoy. And he doesn't do that for me. What about Dave Allen? What next for Dave Allen? I hope Dave finds peace and happiness. Yeah, that's the only way I can put it. I really hope Dave finds peace and happiness. I, he's, you know, obviously, you know, we've met Dave a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's a very, he's, sort of he's a very complex character, isn't he? He's all right. He's a good guy, Dave, but he's uh, he got weird at the end, didn't he? Uh, I like wanted to, to say. Talk I he didn't to want to come on Porky's Corner, did he, once he started working with Eddie Earn? But when he had a blip with Eddie Earn, me and Dennis couldn't get rid of you, could we, Dave? I might get him on my show. We can't get rid of him when he had a blip. I think he'd like the one. And then he got back with Eddie Earn, and there you go, that's what happens, isn't it? He's boxing, isn't it? He's played the game well. He's not won an area level belt. Mate, right. mate, you're obsessed about these things. Here's yeah, a, I am, yeah. Mate, here's a reality for Dave, right? Dave can chill for a bit. Come back, he's young enough. And let these young guys build up a bit, and then he can fight one of them for the I want to see Dave Allen, man. I ain't got a problem with Dave Allen, but what I want to see him stop messing about, get rid of the entourage, or word it correctly, get rid of the entourage, get a trainer, whether it's Steffi Ball, Dave Caldwell, Whatever, but not Darren Barker. Don't tell me Darren Barker's a trainer, please. Yeah, he's got a link to Ern, he's married Ern's secretary, whatever he's done. But don't tell me he's a fucking trainer. Excuse my English. Because he, he is not a off. trainer, yeah, the gloves are off. Don't tell me Darren Barker's a trainer. Because if you're telling me Darren Barker's a trainer, I will just say it is. I thought you were going to say Baba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the word Baba don't get me in trouble. But uh, no, I just think that Dan Barker's not a trainer. We saw his performance with Lee Purdy through toweling and he did. And all he was saying to Dave Allen against Price was, just let your hands go. What's up with grabbing onto him or stay on outside or do something different, not just let your hands go? That, but that's the first thing you've got to do, right? Like boxing's a game of punches, so you've got to let your hands go. I'm not going to give you advice until you can let your hands go. Once you let your hands go, then I can tell you where to position yourself to connect better. But you've got to let your hands go, right? Yeah. It's, it's tricky. I don't think Darren did anything bad, but I just don't think he's experienced enough to deal with someone as complex as Dave Allen. Baba. Ah! It doesn't work for me! It only works on my handprint. Watch. You gotta know how you're doing it. Uh, I'm like Fonzie when I walk into a pub, which I'll show you. I mean, I just go up and I go, and music comes on. And if there's gonna be a fight outside, nobody starts until I come outside. I just come out and I go, I'm like man from Del Monte. I'm like him, you know, when he goes, Bolo, and he goes, Gah! I'm like that, you know, in Enter the Dragon. Yeah. I'm Bolo. Bolo Young. <laughs> Bolo Young, yeah. But so, Dave Allen, I want to see him take it seriously, seriously. I'd like to see him go with Chris Smedley, who has offered his services. Living legend. Glenn McCrory has offered his services in my company with Dave, and he's rebuffed of them both in a curry house. I think you might have even been there. Neil Kettlebrew were there. Kettlebrew, what's happened to this is when, This is when he was setting up Boxing Social, and he offered me the job that Rob Tebbett's got, and I said, yeah, no. Did he, 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 he give that to... That other kid with shaved dead. I forgot his name now. He, he, uh, is he not Ben Doherty? There's another, another kid. Oh, I forgot his name Ben now. Doughty was involved. Ben Doughty. He ended up with a job that I could have had and then Rob Tebbett ended up with it, didn't he? Uh, it's, it's well, I have no computer skills. That was all I've been able to do it. So, so but Rob Tebbett, he's, he's, he's an educated kid, isn't he? I don't he's know. better. Well, he well, do well, better. No, no. Well, he we do don't a know better, that. He do a better that. job than me. I don't know. I don't Rob's think a better boxing man than me. I don't even think that's true. No, I think he's a better boxing man than me, Terry. Nah, he's Bellin. Yeah. He's Bellin. 
I just think he's a better boxing man. He's probably better on a computer than me. And he, he knows how to play the game, whereas I, I won't be able to play the game. For example, if there was something I didn't like, I'd say I don't, I don't like that because I'm obviously in a position where I don't need to do that. He needs to do it, doesn't he? But he, I think he's a good boxing guy, but he, he, he gets a lot of stick, doesn't he? He's, 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 getting, he's a, get, he seems to get on well with Frank Warren, doesn't he? Moment. Oh. He's got know. Frank Warren and Coogan's got Eddie. That's how it's working, isn't it? Nah, I don't even think it's that. I think. Coogan's got everything. He Coogan decides what you do. Like you can't, you can't, you can't get an exclusive that Coogan hasn't got. Yeah. Or there'll be problems. So no, uh, Coogan, Coogan is the Don Corleone of the of the twats with microphone brigade. I'm a bit disappointed with you, Coogan Cassis, and I know you're watching. And if you're not, well, I like that he disabled the comments. I was one of your gimp followers will send you this, but I actually do have a good relationship with Coogan. If I have a problem, I used to get in touch. I am not happy that you disabled the comments for the Joe Gallagher uh, interview with Coogan. I left you a comment and I think I called you a gimp or a company man. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with you magging out at the back of Eddie, but there's a bromance going on there. I don't call Eddie Earn Eddie Earn anymore. Do you know what I call him? Auntie Elton. What? I call him El Auntie Elton, the queen of boxing. You know why, but it will come out one day, trust me. Oh, do, do you legal that, letter. Do you think that's why he fell out with Kel? I don't know. No, no, I can't come out with stuff like that. I don't know why Kim and Kel Brook fell out. I don't know. I mean, they're still talking, aren't they? But Kel's not even training at the moment, apparently. Maybe, maybe, maybe someone doesn't like him looking all ripped up, likes him a bit rounder. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck fans, Eddie. Fuck fans. Is it fuck fans, Eddie? I'm gonna fight Triple G. I'm gonna fight Triple G, Eddie. Fuck fans, and uh, I'm gonna knock him out. I'm gonna knock, I'm knock him out, and then I'm gonna knock Errol Spence out. Southpaw, we deal with them at Ingalls, Jim. Southpaw, we deal with them, Eddie. I don't know, but I like Kelbrook. I've been a Kelbrook fan. He could have been our Terry Norris. But I don't know what happened along the line. Well, I do know what happened. He bumped into Triple G. He got one eye, shock it, eye socket shattered, and other one half, half, half shattered. You trying to work my bullshit, but what Nicola yeah. bought me? Yeah, shout out to Nicola. <laughs> this one Nicola's office. What's this Nicola's office? Got an office at Dennis's now. You know what? I've got an office at Dennis's as well. I don't you can have my old one upstairs if you nah, want. Nah, nah, go on. Mine's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Got a bag in there. Yeah, good man. Train. Yeah. good right. man. So moving on, Billy Joe Saunders, is he gonna fight Canelo in May or Callum Smith? None. Does Callum Smith, Billy Joe, sell out Anfield? He won't fight either of us. So don't be surprised if he fights Harmony Mongear. Harmony Mongear? What, at 160? Mm -hmm. So you don't think Billy Joe is gonna stay at 168? I just don't even that. I just don't think if you look at how the zone is splitting at the moment, it's Hearn and it's Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar's not going to do anything to make Eddie look good. Yeah. So why are you going to give him Canelo? They already gave him Canelo. Oscar De La Hoya can't stand Eddie Hearn at the moment. Let me tell you this. De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins would love to get him to Philadelphia because I reckon Eddie could end up getting took out. They hate him that much. And another thing as well, Eddie Hearn will never go to Ireland for a show, I don't think. I don't think he'll put a show on in Ireland either. Do you know why? I don't think there's a there's a big fight out there for him, is there? Nope. Katie Taylor would have had a show out there, wouldn't she, if there'd have been a fight out there? Yeah, she would have numbers, yeah. All they've got at the moment is really Luke Keeler, right? Luke Keeler seems to be lining up for a world title, but that's about it in Ireland. That'll not do pay-per-view, will it? Nah. They're trying to do eight or nine pay-per-views a, a year next year. They're going to try and do... They're going to try and do next year four pay-per-views, 20 quid, two 25 quid, this is Sky, and three 10 quids. And quote me on that, next year there's going to be nine pay-per-views. I think your, your you versus Spence will be one of the 10 quid ones. Me against Spencer Fearon is going to be on Porky's Corner and I'm going to screenshot the, mon the, mo the monetization money 
after a month and I'm gonna... Is Mick Hennessy still promoting that? My, I don't know who's promoting. I don't need anybody to promote me. When I get down to 200 pounds, me and Spencer, we're gonna get at it in Dennis's gym or Mick Wales' gym. We're just gonna get at it. Like that is not, it's either the girls or the peacock. I'm not going down London, he's the one that's got plenty to say for he's, his then. He's, he's the one that called Tommy the Guru Allen out. And Tommy's, I don't know what's happened with that, I think Tommy's injured or something, isn't he? I don't know. I don't know, but I said, well, I, I'll fight him. So, you have to come up here if he wants to prove yeah. himself. Uh, but Spencer's the A-side. I do more tickets than Spencer. I'm A-side. Why is he A-side? No, nah, he's the... <sighs> We're going to get it on, because we don't get along. I don't mind Spencer Fearon, to be honest, I've spoke to him. Seems half alright. But, you know, he gets a lot of stick, and I've given him stick. Spencer, I've given you stick for the simple reason that a lot of people say you're a racist, but I don't know you, so it's a strong word, that. Plus, you do come out with a lot of things in interviews on Sky that, uh, I don't know, I don't know either why I give him stick. I don't Spence, know. Spencer's alright. He got me in trouble, though, he did. Dennis. <laughs> Yeah. He got me in trouble. Him and Dennis are good mates. Dennis used to promote him, didn't he? Yeah, they go a long way. Den likes him. Den, Spencer, Femi Tola. That's like the circle of trust. Femi Tola likes Spencer. Yeah, circle of trust. But that means more as well. Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? We're going to get at it for three rounds. And if I get knocked out, I get knocked out. If I get through it, I'll be happy. If I land a few, I land a few. I'm going to rough him up. Um, yeah, all you can do is do your best, get down to your weight, do your best, turn a few battles. Worst scenario would be Hawkey gets knocked out by Spencer Fear and an ex contender like middle. So what? <laughs> That's the worst scenario. I think I've been in bigger pickles than that. I've been in boats and cars with pillowcases on my head. I've been in jail with IRA bombers and yeah, Crazy you, people. You'll be getting some bombs from Spencer, that's for sure. Spencer a big puncher? Yeah. Is he? Is he? Yeah, now His he, knockout record doesn't nah, say but, yes. but he was a natural like heavyweight that boiled down to 154. Was so, he? Yeah, naturally. He's, yeah, Spencer's huge. Well, na, na, you know when you see him hit the bag now? How is he? About 5'10", five, 5'9". Five, he's 6 foot. He's 6 foot? 6 foot wide at the shoulders. Honestly. Timber! I'll just do a Dean White, will I? I'll wrap him up like a pretzel. <laughs> when Dean White said I'll wrap Shane Fury up like a pretzel. Shane Fury can fight for fun, let me tell you. Well, He's an handful, big Shane. Big sexy Shane. He's an handful. Well, let, let, let them get it on. Mate, we, we need to shoot as well. Otherwise we'll get yeah, we'll, to we'll, Yeah, right then. Well, we've got plenty of yeah. time, but... Come on then, so I'll wrap it up with that. So, peace yeah. out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. This will be out tomorrow, Friday, because I'm not going to put it out tonight because it's valuable drinking time, isn't it, Terry? I don't drink, but he will drink. Ray. I'm a bit naughtier than drinking tonight. So I just hope that I'm, I'm alright for tomorrow because if I, if, I, if, I if I have a whatever tonight, I won't tomorrow because I'll be in bed all day. Uh, so, peace out. Keep on trucking. Ray. Supporting boxing. Ray. Bit of pocket money for charity. Let me just grab the let me just grab the package as well and get out of here. Package? There's no packages in here, mate. Come on. <laughs> so alright then, so that's uh, about it then really. Uh, no. I love how this guy I've got press ganged into just fucking now he no, no, no prep time, just had to just do the video straight away. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxes. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. So, AJ Hobson, cheers AJ for backing the channel, shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging, Climate Cool and SYM, South Yorkshire Metals, was Dennis Hobson. Shit, was that all on your camera? <laughs> yeah, all on camera, yeah, you sparring like a gimp, go on.